to Firewall Management 201. I'm Professor Wool, and today we're going to be looking at some of the challenges we face when dealing with what I like to call the disappearing network perimeter. What do I mean by that? Well, here's a picture of the way we used to think about firewalls. We have our outside public internet, then we have our firewall, and then we have our internal network with our desktops and our servers and our databases, and it's very clear where the network perimeter is. It separates the outside world from our internal networks. Unfortunately, there are at least four trends that make this simple picture no longer accurate. The first trend that we've been seeing for quite a while is remote users. We have people working out of their home offices or from their hotel rooms on the road and they're connecting to the network to use internal resources. And this means, and typically that is over a VPN connection. But this means that now our network perimeter starts to look like this. We have to control and filter traffic to that segment of the network even though it's not strictly inside our network uh, offices. The second trend that we're seeing is outsourcing. We have some of the traditional servers that used to be in our network. Now they're outside on the outsourcers network connected to some network and connected then into our corporate environment. Now from a firewall perspective, we have to control traffic into the outsourcer's environment and out of it, which means that now the perimeter also looks like this. So the picture gets more complicated. A re relatively recent trend is virtualization. What does that mean? Well, now we can install a large box that has multiple virtual machines inside of it and we can run servers inside this virtual environment and these virtual machines are connected to a network that is also virtualized it's inside the virtualizing box and all of this is connected to our traditional physical infrastructure from a firewall perspective, we now have to control and filter traffic as it goes into this virtualized environment from our traditional physical network and back. But the challenge is that this traffic, a, a large piece of it, is inside the virtual environment, inside the box. It does not leave the box. And the firewall obviously cannot filter traffic that it does not see. So we have, we have a hole in our perimeter that we have a challenge looking into. Finally, we have a recent trend which is bring your own device to work. People want to bring to their office, they want to bring their tablets and their smartphones and they want to use all this personal equipment and connect it to the network infrastructure and use it as part of their business. How does this work? Well, we have to set up a hotspot and connect to all of these mobile devices wirelessly. But now we have to filter the traffic and make sure that when this person is accessing the net, they can get the same access that they have when they're at their desktop, also when they're on their mobile, and also when they're the same should apply when they're on the first floor and when, uh, when they're on the fifth floor. Even though the traffic is coming from different directions, we still want the same policy to apply. So again, this is a challenge because how do we keep track of all of these mobile devices in terms of a filtering policy? Luckily, we have some technological developments that help us regain control of the disappearing network perimeter. And there are two technologies that we might want to consider. One is next generation firewalls. Next generation firewalls do two things for us. First of all, they let us filter traffic not only based on ports and protocols, but also based on the application that is being used. So we can determine what that device is really trying to do and filter based on that. And the second thing is next generation firewalls allow us to make filtering decisions based on the identity of the person making the connection. Another technology that is useful in a different area is hypervisor level firewalls that let us control 
traffic in virtualized environments, both inside a virtualized environment and going into and out of that virtualized environment. And as we uh, move on, we will see some uh, uh, mechanisms and uh, policies that let us regain this control and uh, develop processes that let us control and filter this traffic in a reasonable and effective way. So stay tuned for the next segments of the series, and thank you very much.